What a weekend it's been. My goodness. You know, Joe Biden's presidential campaign hasn't even officially begun, and people are trying to knock him out of the running. Mm. Former Nevada politician Lucy Flores claims that Biden was out of line when he campaigned for her back in 2014. Take a look. Out of nowhere, I feel Joe Biden put his hands on my shoulders, get up very close to me from behind, lean in, smell my hair, and then plant a slow kiss on the top of my head. To have the vice president of the United States do that to me so unexpectedly and just kind of out of nowhere, it was just shocking. The reason why we're having these conversations about Vice President Joe Biden is because he's considering running for president. So now Biden responded that in all his years on the campaign trail, he's never believed he's acted inappropriately. So he'll listen respectfully to Flores, but it was never his intention. Now, should she have spoken to him about this before she went on television about it? Or, I mean, is it, you know, listen, in the old days, we would call Joe, some folks of a certain age would say he's a little overly familiar. Yeah. Okay. But most politicians, when they're, you know, doing this with you and, you know, they are. And Joe is, Joe is a hands-on kind of guy. Yeah, he and, is. But no one, I've never heard anyone, and she says she felt violated, and I, I have to take her at her word, but it would have been nice if she had turned to him and said, you know what, Jay, I don't really like this. Please don't do this. Or not, Mr. Vice President, I'm not really comfortable with that. Something, because he's standing right there. No, well, it's hard to say to somebody who's sniffing No, it's your not. Hair. Somebody touches you well, inappropriately. But it wasn't. That's the point. I don't, That's what she I, said. Yes, That's what she's that. doing. I, I didn't but can we just say, I, yeah. she does not say it rises to the level of sexual assault or anything right. of that nature. She yeah. does not claim this is a Me Too moment. So I think we need to be very clear on that because I think some people are interpreting it that well, way. And let's also but, be but, clear but that... But that's the point. Mm -hmm. That's the point, yeah. is to get people to think about mm -hmm. it like that. Mm -hmm. It does not rise to any of those things. No, it's a long way from smelling your hair to grabbing your hoo-ha. I mean, let's tell the yeah. truth. <laughs> but... She felt annoyed she felt or uncomfortable, uncomfortable with it, and so I, yeah. like, we have to accept that. But I don't think it rises to the to point what we've been listening to about Harvey Weinstein and the rest of these people. It just doesn't look like that. And, you know, we all know Joe Biden. He's been here. I remember when I met him in Florida before he was vice president, and he was so friendly. He, he's the close talker. Yes. He comes right, right up into your face, and you're thinking, I hope my breath is good, you know? <laughs> and I, and uh, more important, I hope his is. Yeah. And, you know, so he talks close, he h touches he's you, a toucher. that's he's what he's like. Yeah. And I feel it would be really unfortunate if we got rid of everybody who was just an affectionate kind of person. We, you know, we, those are nice yeah. people, too. He's also been in public office for about 50 years of yeah. his life. Yeah. I, I do wonder if she could have sent him a letter, well, that's right? Like, send him a personal note. Uh, to say, hey, this happened a few years ago. Now I feel confident in telling you about it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make this public. I always wonder when these things come out, what is the motive for this yeah. person? Is it is it simply to yeah. let people know I was uncomfortable, mm -hmm. which you could have done in private, or is well, it because you maybe want someone else to win and you want him to have doubts about actually mm -hmm. announcing yeah. for presidency? I've, I've had concerns about the Me Too movement from the beginning, about getting to this place where you can't have normal interactions with each other. That is to say, like, this one was uncomfortable, and that's her place. Mm -hmm. But are we going to get to a place where we can't shake hands, we can't hug each other because that, to me, was uncomfortable? I, don't, I worry about that. Yeah. I do. I, you know, I, uh, I, I'm sort of in the middle on this in the sense that I, I do believe that with this particular situation, there was a power dynamic. I mean, you're talking about the vice president of the United States. She was running, I think, for lieutenant governor. So she may not want to want to have offended him um, and and I know a lot of women get put in that kind of situation where they're offended they, they're uncomfortable but they may not say anything so that's that's one thing but I I do appreciate his response mm. to the criticism he said I may not recall these moments the same way and I may be surprised at what I hear but we have arrived at an important time when women feel they can and should mm -hmm relate their experiences and men should pay attention and I will mm -hmm. and I think mm -hmm. that is the appropriate response yes. you know like that's good. I, 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 yeah. this response was very appropriate well, very, because yeah. perhaps yes. he didn't intend to make her uncomfortable but she is saying you did make me uncomfortable and he's saying I will listen so I don't know that we will see any more smelling of hair and kisses well, on I'm the forehead so, but, but and see, that, that pisses me off
Yeah. I'm telling you because, because, well, I don't want Joe to stop doing that. I don't either. You know? I'm just going to say yeah. one thing really yeah. quick. Go ahead. There's a certain kind of retail politician that loves people. I would put Bill Clinton in that category. Yeah. I would yeah. put my father in that category. I would certainly put Joe Biden in that category. When he came on the show, he's the only politician, other than my father, to go into the crowd and shake everyone's hand. That's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, that means something when you're in Iowa. And I'm sorry, but I just, when I heard this, I read her entire statement. I do agree women should be heard. I'm sorry. Yes. I worked at Fox News during the Roger Ailes time. There's a very big difference between things like that and things like this. And Mika Brzezinski said this morning, Democrats, you have to ask yourselves, what exactly is the Me Too line you want to draw? Because you will live and die by that line. Joe Biden is a good, decent mm. man. I do not believe he has never made me feel uncomfortable once. I've been around him a so lot. So can we conclude that it would not hurt him? I hope not. But I think Democrats, what I said on Friday about Democrats cannibalizing each other and eating their own. And the mm -hmm. part you brought up about politics, she said on Jake Tapper that her politics, it was politically yeah. motivated. She says politics was definitely impetus. The impetus is the reason why we're having the conversations. And I'm sorry, she was a Bernie Sanders supporter in 2016. She was just seen at Beto O'Rourke events. What she meant by that was that because he's running, it's I understand, a political thing. But yeah. if, she's a, if she's a Bernie or Beto person, well. maybe she feels more inclined now. I don't know. But all I'm saying is that I vouch for his character and my personal experience. Yeah, I'm doing my, the same. Okay, well, I'm doing okay, the same. Enjoy. I've known but him forever. But if Democrats forever. want Trump in for another four years, I'm, you they, know what? They, I don't even. I don't. This is for me. This is these things are not Democratic or Republican. These things I are agree. about. Listen, some people. If they make you uncomfortable, and I know, I, I please don't email me or text me. Yeah, or me either, by the way, thing, please. I agree. Like, please my, don't email me either. My point <laughs> is, I want women to get to the place where they can say, hey, you just made me uncomfortable. Yeah. This idea that you have to tippy toe away from this or you have to carry, you do not have to carry it. If someone makes you uncomfortable, tell them. He came down to do you a favor. He came down to do you a favor. He was at your fundraiser. Yeah. You had every right to say, you know what, that, that's it, I don't, don't do that, Joe. But can I say that you know? the media is doing some of this too. Stephanie Carter, who was the wife of Defense Secretary Ash Carter, published a blog Sunday defending Joe Biden yes. over a viral photo. Yes, yes. this because viral photo. People keep she explained she was this. nervous in this experience, and he kept his hand on my shoulders as a means of offering his support. And yeah. said, and she said to him, "Thank you for letting him and do that." And don't forget that they're also fallen earlier in the day, and it made her feel more they're comfortable. They're also friends. Different experiences. Let's not forget yeah. these. The, that picture. Joe Biden knows them. Yeah, right. He was behind her whispering to so you have to stop characterizing yeah. stuff, mischaracterizing it. That's all. So I'm for saying. her, but it was a comfortable be, experience. Yeah. For the other woman, it, it wasn't. was not. But don't sit and wait and say I'm uncomfortable on national television. Right. Because yeah. it makes us suspect of your I, Listen, you your and I, thoughts. honestly, Whoopi, you We're and back. I would probably get heat over this, but I, I, I stand I by what I stand by to you. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. Listen, I've been a woman a long time. I've been a woman a long time, and my mother said, if you're not comfortable, you tell them to stop. She, she instilled that in me, and I'm trying to share it with you. We'll be right Thank back. You.